Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Justified by faith. Why? Because I heard the gospel and I believed it. And based on God's integrity, are we together now? I am today the righteousness of God in Christ. It has given me the room to now receive the blessing. Now the blessing is upon me, even in Zaria. The blessing is upon me, even in whatever hole. Regardless my background, now I have access to that which can bail me out. Listen, no matter what wealth seminar you go to, no matter what kind of thing you go, if you do not understand this, leave Zaria and go to Abuja, what you are, you are running away from now will follow you there. Leave Abuja and go to London. What you are running away from will follow you there. Because let me tell you sincerely, it is what is upon you that governs what is around you. Believers, please hear this. You have to know and be able to defend the basis for your excelling in life. Is someone learning? So, the blessing of Abraham justification by faith number two the blessing that dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that works like a force gravitating people gravitating circumstances and opportunities gravitating resources to your life and destiny that makes for your excelling in christ is called the blessing so prosperity is simply working with the laws of god to give manifestation to the blessing are you now seeing now when you prosper physically you have now taken advantage of the laws of the kingdom to allow that which is at work in you to find expression if I prosper today in terms of physical things the physical things are not the reason why I prosper they are the proof that I'm prosperous and that leads me to the third level now the blessings of Abraham with S in it it talks about every kind of thing influence what God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 verse 2 and 3 these are the things called the blessings of Abraham I will make of thee a great nation that is influence and greatness I will bless thee and make your name great thou shalt be a blessing impact three I will bless them that bless you and curse you defense of the spirit and from you shall all the families of the earth be blessed these are called the blessings of Abraham are we together 17 verse 6 I will make you exceeding fruitful Genesis now kings will come out of you nations will come out of you is someone getting this now let me tell you what many believers do and this is where we miss it i've shown you three levels now please listen to this message again and again hallelujah the blessing of abraham justification by faith comes through the hearing of faith of the gospel when you believe it is imputed unto you for righteousness number two the blessing the holy spirit now alongside the possibilities that he brings compelling creation to respond to you in a certain way ah this is powerful 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 that means you were never designed to look for anything it was supposed to come under certain conditions when you find yourself looking for money looking for fame looking for helpers you have already missed it God designed this system such that the things that are made for life and godliness will gravitate towards you under a certain condition. Not every condition. Hallelujah. When you put an air conditioner, that air conditioner is filled with all kinds of physical laws, mechanisms that were designed to change your physical climate so it can be hot outside but once you put on the AC what happens all it, it, they are just laws 
laws working with air and water and then it now begins to cool you so while people are suffering outside and how many of you know that there are gadgets right now there are like mini aces that have been designed you can carry with you not a fan so you carry your own atmosphere with you while people are sweating you are just moving and they say why you show them the gadget this is what is on you that you can be in zaria here and redefine your possibilities because the blessing is upon you the blessing that's what abraham gave isaac all the rest came and they were looking for physical things he gave them cow gave them cattle and said go but then he said isaac i want to give you something what made me me to that i was called alone and i now became this great i transfer it to you and isaac received it no cow no nothing and he said go and as isaac began to go things started happening to his life he even sowed in that land where there was famine and he thought it was just his seed that fell to the ground no it was not only his seed that fell to the ground something else fell on the seed too as it was entering the ground and the bible says he prospered that same year that same year please sit down the blessing please follow me i want you to pay attention god is giving you a bailout key don't sit down and say i'm disadvantaged please help i'm seeing the anointing on two people just help them the blessing the blessing upon you this is what defines the possibilities of men now there are many believers listen listen let's just now pay attention many believers will tell you i am a seed of abraham and most of them are talking ignorance they don't even know what they are saying sincerely i'm telling you is why it does not work let me tell you what most people are saying when they say i have the blessings of abraham what they mean is somebody now will come and give me a car even though they are not serious with god they think it does not matter and we keep mocking ourselves in the body of christ and finding out that this thing is not working if it is not working go back and review your understanding the moment darkness refuses to go when it refuses to go don't blame darkness find out whether what you are calling light is really light because if it is light by john 1 5 it will shine in darkness it says to be careful less what you call light be darkness you can carry darkness for many years many people sincerely so this thing is not working i'm showing you now some of you are just discovering for the first time that when it has to do with abraham there are three layers there is the blessing of abraham justification by faith received through the hearing of the gospel are we together there is the blessing the holy spirit now it leads to the blessings of abraham every other physical thing influence greatness Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound, we raise a sound For He is God and God alone Hallelujah, Hallelujah Sing it one more time Now unto the Lamb upon the floor We raise a sound, we raise a sound for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. 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 Sit down. Please sit down. 
Alasha brande geba la kusia brahas kubadia. Listen, please, I want you to pay attention. You are going to change the narrative of your destiny if you understand what I'm sharing with you. Believe me when I tell you this. Many of you have received that first level, the blessing of Abraham, and you think that is all there is. You have been justified. You will make heaven, but you see that your life is still miserable. No spiritual growth, no intimacy, no knowledge of the scripture because you have rejected the blessing. And for many of you, the blessing has come with the coming of the Holy Spirit, but you have not learned how to activate it. I will teach you. And then you keep waiting for the third level blessings why is there no favor why is there no increase why is my ministry maybe not growing why is my business not growing your life is always natural and anything normal people suffer you suffer it too and you are wondering but God what is this thing you've told Abraham and all of that why am I not seeing it in my life I'm showing you now And when the devil knows that there is ignorance or incomplete knowledge, he will now come and say, have you forgotten you came from Plateau State? Have you forgotten you came from Kaduna State? Look at Zaria. How do you intend to prosper here? And you say, it's true. Oh, let's, let's use our brain. Ah, you've done something to yourself now. If only you will understand, I am the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham means exemption is my birthright the seed of abraham it will always be different when it comes to me even if it means the rules being rewritten i carry an influence the seed of abraham koinonia i want you to believe this this is really the secret behind what you are you are saying it's not superstition it's understanding no barrenness fruitfulness i will make you exceedingly fruitful so anything you are doing you expect it and if it does not look like it you keep engaging the forces of victory without fail until it changes to what god has said now sit down please please sit down sit down sit down imagine your child knowing this from three years that I am the seed of Abraham. Son, as you go to school, you will meet several people. Ah. Walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I was sharing with the workers yesterday, please sit down. As I was passing, going to my house from yesterday, I was in tears. My eyes, I was just fighting tears, really. Didn't cry, but I was, I mean, just within my heart. I passed the place where we used to buy corn. I remember the location. I was still seeing it. Where we'd go and buy corn. I remember joking with the woman and said, oh, where is my wife? You are still the seed of Abraham. Doesn't matter what you are wearing. You are still the seed of... Listen, listen, listen. You are not the seed of Abraham because you are a lecturer. You are not the seed of Abraham because you are a student. You are not a seed of Abraham because you are in Zaria. If you are waiting until you now get a job, you say, aha, no, I am a seed of Abraham. I'm going to show you how to activate it. It is not just blind confession. Hallelujah. My dear people, please hear me. Time will never change anything. It is revelation. Revelation. Help those under the anointing please. Time only reveals. It does not change. Look at the things, look at the economy of nations right now. 
are you seeing what is happening even in this country look at several people look at the hardship the suffering some of these evil people terrorists and the rest they've made life people cannot farm they cannot do anything how in the world will people survive respectfully speaking look at our precious lecturers how many months now they've not been we know no strike whatever it is strike there and people cannot how let, let me tell you if you are a natural man i'm going to show you a scripture shortly it's going to be one of our prayers the rod of the wicked listen most of you know you think you know what you are saying i'm going to show you what the lot of the righteous is god was describing there that there is a certain condition where the power of darkness rests upon the inheritance of the righteous it will make the righteous to start doing things they did not plan to do do you know the rate at which prostitution has increased now because people need to eat are we together now there are many young people who bring back money and the parents cannot ask them where did this come from because how else will they eat that is exactly what satan wants and if we keep quiet in the church and keep saying don't worry things are all right there will be casualties beyond imagination are we together i don't know if it happens so much here but in fact there has been a campaign right now of fishing out internet fraudsters in in abuja they will just rent a flat and stay there and scam people internationally some of those people are children of pastors that is what happens when the devil heats up the fire economically and so on and so forth people go on rampage people with clean godly values now begin to consider plan b find out the rate at which people are returning back to villages and carrying small stones and idols and returning back because things are not working and they sit in church and this thing is not working and someone says listen you better come home and the person will come home they'll say this stone your grandfather used it hold it and go and bury it the seed of abraham how then do you see the profiting of your believing of your faith when there is no manifestation hallelujah let me show you a scripture please sit down is god blessing someone If it is true that through Christ and in Christ we have access to these three dimensions number one the blessing of Abraham justification by faith number two the blessing the Holy Spirit and the anointing that comes from him number three the blessings of Abraham all of the physical blessings benefits that come with being the seed of Abraham why then are we not seeing it manifest in our lives that is my assignment this night why do i keep declaring that i am the seed of abraham yet financially i am down my health is challenged i cannot enjoy anything what i lay my hands to do does not work did he not say i will be a blessing i will be blessed and i will be a blessing let me show you the key the key is found in john chapter 8 from verse 38 and 39 jesus began to teach look at this our beautiful preacher boy help him eh? the boy is excited he's a seed of abraham too hallelujah i speak that which i have seen with my father and ye do that which you have seen with your father he rebuked them about their father and all of that now they answered and said unto him abraham is our father in other words don't mock us jesus is saying your results is showing that you are connected to another kind of father are you getting the point now it was the issue of fatherhood and sonship and he's saying listen your behavior and your results i can trace it to a kind of fatherhood you are of your father the devil and his deeds because these attitudes you are displaying should not come from one who is connected to abraham and they said no you are teaching error we are we are jews don't forget abraham is our father and he said i will tell you why your results is against your confession if ye were abraham's children ye would do 
the works of Abraham. Write it down. The works of Abraham. That is the missing link behind confessing I am the seed of Abraham and manifesting the seed of Abraham in experience. This is the bridge. Abraham is our father, they said. Jesus said unto them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. The works of Abraham. Is someone learning now? That means midwifing your understanding and your revelation and your confession of being Abraham's seed and walking in the experience of it. The bridge there is called the works of Abraham. That if you do the works of Abraham, you will not even need to tell people, I am the seed of Abraham. Your results will be what will be speaking. It will become clear that indeed, the same way they, they did not need to tell Jesus they, that they were of, of Satan. Their works showed that you people are connected to Satan. You are of your father, the devil, and his desires because you are manifesting traits that we can trace back to Satan. That means something can happen to your life, ladies and gentlemen, that when people see you, they know you are not just Yoruba. They know you are not just Kaduna. Some maybe by earthly description, you are Kaduna or Yoruba, but the results you are commanding is a he that cometh from above is above all. The works of Abraham. Do you want to know the works of Abraham? Isaiah 1 19 Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise and I will see of the wonders of your word I will see out for joy I will see of the wonders of your word and i will forever sing your breath listen this thing ba it's not about how you look it's not about how you talk it's not whether you are liked or not it's a reality that is activated at the instance of revelation backed up with obedience isaiah 1 19. there are two things abraham did that if you do not do these things cannot be activated in your life number one abraham was willing number two abraham was obedient that is what converted prophecy to experience if ye be willing and if ye be obedient if ye be willing if you will hand over your will and if you are obedient, it leaves you with an assurance. You shall eat the good of the land. If you are writing, please underline that word, the good of the land. Every land without exception, once it is on earth, there is good in that land. The good of the land. But the good of the land does not just come. The prophet said, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. In fact, he said, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. There are riches that are stored in every territory, but not for everybody. If ye be willing. Now, we're discussing the dynamics now of doing the works of Abraham. If you are willing and you are obedient. If you are willing and obedient. Not if you are intelligent. And you know what to say or you know what to do this right here ladies and gentlemen 
is where many believers miss out. That is why we are unable to convert prophecy to become our experience. Because we are willing, but maybe not obedient. Or we are obedient, but maybe not willing. In most cases, it is the absence of both. There is no willingness and there is no obedience. Are we together? Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. One more time. You are. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, listen carefully, and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2, it says, and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Let's read on. Verse 3. Blessed shalt thou be in the city and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Is that in your Bible? Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Please believe what you are reading. Blessed shall be the basket, thy basket and thy store. Verse 6. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. There are people who are only blessed when they go out of Zaria. There are people who are not blessed when they come in. There are others who are only blessed when they are in a location. But the Bible says, blessed shall thou be whether you come out or you go in. It will not make any change blessed verse 7 the Lord shall cause thy enemies ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at cheap victory that rise up against thee to be smitten before your face they shall come against thee one way and flee before you seven ways the Lord shall command the blessing are you seeing now who will command it the Lord shall command the blessing upon your storehouse that is the secret so that it is not empty your storehouse can you can build your account you can build whatever but if the blessing has not been commanded upon it it does not matter what it is there it will leave and in all that thou settest thy hands to do he shall bless thee in the land which the lord shall give thee verse 9 the lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. Verse 10. All the people of the earth shall see. All the This is not a parable. He's saying I will make it happen from nation to nation. You don't have to be there for them to acknowledge that God is working. And you don't have to be a preacher. It is not by preaching. When this statement was written, the internet was not there. So don't you think we're talking of, um, of the internet. God is saying, I will make it happen. I will multiply your influence and make it trans-regional. They will see that you are called by the name of the Lord. They will be afraid of thee. By what principle is this result being produced? The Lord shall make you plenteous in goods. Now, here comes your physical things. The fruit of your body, the fruit of your cattle, the fruit of your ground, 
the land which he swear to your fathers to give you verse 12 the lord shall open unto you his treasure hold on the lord can bless your storehouse but when he opens his treasure the heaven to give rain to your land in season it says he will bless the works of your hands thou shalt lend to many nations and thou shalt not borrow do you believe what you just read except if you are not a Christian let me read a bit of it to help you the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail period shall make you make you listen in Psalm 23 don't turn there the psalmist said the Lord is my shepherd I wish I had time maybe tomorrow I will show you four things that he does to prove that he's shepherd number one he makes you number two he guides you number three he leads you number four he restores these four things he does as proof that he's shepherd he makes he leads he restores he guides the lord is my shepherd i shall not want not in the presence of his leadership his making his restoration hallelujah you made me great you made me special you made me great i give all i have to you you made me great you made me special you made me great i give all i have to you my best lord is everything i am my best lord i give all i have to you my best lord is everything i have my best lord i give all i have to you verse 14 let's get somewhere so we can pray it says and thou shalt not go aside from any of these words which I command thee, whether to the right or to the left, to go after other gods and to serve them. 15. But, should in case, it will also come to pass. So there are two things that must come to pass. Whether the blessing of the Lord manifested in your life as the seed of Abraham or a plethora of woes and suffering. If thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord, you see where your will comes in. I place before you both options. All of them are already empowered to come to pass. If thou shalt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded this day, that these curses shall come upon you and overtake thee. 16. Cause shall thou be in the city. Cause shall thou be in the field. Look at this kind of terrible thing. Cost shall be thy basket. Do you know what it means to be cost? To be cost means every advantage in anything is extracted out of it. That's what it means to be cost. It does not mean to take away what you have. It means the factor that makes it a blessing is taken out. That's it. So you can have, for instance, you can have 10,000 naira and you are holding pieces of papers because nothing is on it. It does not matter how diligent you are, you will still suffer. This has nothing to do with carelessness or being careful. It has nothing to do with savings or investment. A cause is not just something that is put upon you. A cause is also the good extracted out of anything. Eighteen. Cause shall be the fruit of your body. This is dangerous. Because you will still produce. It's only that you will produce for sorrow. Cost. And any increase that happens to you is only to cause pain. Whether it is promotion, whether it's whatever, it will only end you up in more troubles. Somebody shout God for me. If you are the children of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham. You will do the works of Abraham. The willingness to learn. The willingness to go for knowledge. The willingness 
to submit yourself to superior revelation listen carefully the willingness to find out why my life is like this and then obedience when you now find the key you obtain grace this is the assignment of the engracing of god to empower you to walk in keeping with the scriptural requirements for an excelling life are we together abraham so if it is true you are the seed of abraham more than your confession we must see it in your obedience your obedience your obedience economically speaking I've, I've done several teachings you may want to listen to them okay why am i not empowered financially in spite of the fact that i love the lord if i ask you you are going to give me several reasons maybe i do not have a job or i do not have a good job or maybe you know things are not just working in my life those are sincere reasons but believe me when i tell you they are not the right reasons it's true ladies and gentlemen i believe this thing way before i started seeing any bit of physical realities manifesting in my life so it is not something that i'm just talking because of what god is doing today i was sharing with the leaders you don't just talk and believe when you have seen the results it is your believing and acting in faith that makes this happen hallelujah praise the name of the lord you see what god is doing through this ministry across the globe across the nations we're talking with the leaders sharing some of the plans and some of the projects sincerely let me tell you we've not even started compared to what god is doing we're, we're just bracing we're just bracing to now really begin to make that kingdom impact and it is by the spirit don't you give the credit to just the wisdom of a man no 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 there are some things men cannot do it is not given to men unassisted to produce certain results you can wave failure goodbye and force it to wave you back because you know that i am the seed of abraham but apostle i didn't go to school but apostle i cannot speak english apostle i am elderly apostle i'm a lady in a family of 10 i'm the only one who is even born again it makes no difference the same lord is rich unto all believe me when i tell you it is god has sufficient power when your obedience gives god room to honor you you will be surprised you will see god move in ways in your life that you will marvel and wonder it is true for a while it may not look like it is working that's why i read that scripture for you sell it not when you are yet to see the results sell it not that means don't throw away that revelation and say it is not working i tried it for one year no you have bought the truth sell it not sell it not because there will always be a performance if it is truth are we together yes you have found the truth about prayer sell it not you have found the truth about fasting sell it not you have found the truth about diligence of walking with the word sell it not you have found the truth about declaring over your destiny sell it not you have found the truth about the power of diligence and capacity building sell it not you have found the truth that see it that way man diligent in his business he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings sell it not even when you have not seen the result do not sell it don't throw it away if any man draws back he said my soul shall have no pleasure in him many are already discouraged this thing i'm not i'm not ready for all of this again let's just go whatever way you have bought the truth my precious people you bought it with your time you bought it with your sleepless nights you bought it with your times of fasting you bought it with your sacrifice seeds that you would have used to take care of yourself you gave it please sell it not do not allow the times to bring you to a point where you now want to sell it you have bought the truth and you are still buying with every koinonia service you are buying the truth with every message you are listening don't just say i am listening to a sermon as you sit down hearing from your phone from your laptop as you are reading a book just know that i am buying the truth sell it not 
the day that truth begins to bring returns in your life the nations will watch you and say i used to know you and you say no you knew a version of me that does not exist again is someone listening to me i am the seed of abraham i carry this consciousness believe me a seed of abraham i do not believe that any mortal man sustains the power to end my life before my time i am the seed of abraham the variables to destroy your life are too many physically speaking technology already makes it anything in today's world even this ac you see can be programmed to just air not gone people have inhaled this and died how about demonic things if you are afraid of physical things what of somebody who just stands my head my head and that's the end of it thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows every time you read the bible find out who god was talking to because he was not talking to everybody hallelujah when you handle these truths ba, let me tell you the truth it will only be layers of exploits from your life layers of exploits when it looks to men that you have plateaued at a level you come with another dimension because the jealousy of God stands behind you to defend you and don't worry about the world of wicked men it did not start the world has been more wicked than it is today to the point that God himself repented that he made man so this is not the first time living among people who are wicked whether demonically or whatever your immunity is not in any earthly protection your immunity is in the fact that there is something supernatural that creates a garrison around your life are, are you understanding what i'm teaching you now please look at me my dear people from a physical standpoint when we look at our environment right now respectfully speaking what we see is just poverty and hardship maybe some of you as you are sitting down right now it looks like there is nothing on ground and you are already thinking of compromising you are just saying listen any man that comes to me i will just marry him whether he's born again or not once he can help my family you are about to sell the truth i will join any group of friends there are some boys that say you join them there's somebody that can help you there are those who even want to start ministry i want to go somewhere let them wash your eyes at least if you prophesy you will not leave that meeting with less than five or ten thousand naira. look at how you devalue your life and your destiny is that what it takes to fund your life a seed of Abraham from this one room where the zinc is is the roof is leaking Lord I still believe I am the seed of Abraham and in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to do the works of Abraham right from that one room you are praying in the spirit you are doing the works of Abraham I activate the ministry of the Holy Spirit the blessing is at work in my life by the time you are saying it you may even be hungry there's no food and the tempter comes to tell you sell that truth it is not working remember it took you a lot to buy the truth meekness time patience hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying now yes sometimes you need to gather as a family and say we may not yet see the blessings of abraham manifest but let us not forget that we have the blessing of abraham we have been justified by faith given access now to this new and living way even by the spirit number two that the blessing is upon us oh you have need of the patience of faith follow them who through patience and do you know let me tell you the truth i always like thank god that most of the things that god did in and through our lives happen in this city if i had come from somewhere you say don't mind all these people they are just talking nonsense everything happened right here i believed that right from where i was that it will make no difference i didn't have to live any fake life for anything people were coming from across the globe risking themselves to come here Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. I was.
was sharing with the workers when koinonia started i think the first few weeks the total offering and everything was twenty thousand naira twenty thousand naira and then somebody stole it from the treasurer i remember when she told me she was afraid of telling me how do i now tell apostle that the twenty thousand naira is gone and when she told me i said no problem because to me out of responsibility and leadership i know but from a spiritual standpoint sincerely i understand that it makes no difference anything that leaves you only when to gather its kind to come back this is my understanding this is i'm not, I'm not this is not motivational speaking nothing leaves the believer and then returns back the way it left no it only goes to gather its kind as it leaves that shepherd restores he will make sure that whatever opportunities this is why it says for we know that all things that there, there is there is an advantage help that woman please i'm seeing the power of god on her help that mama there is an advantage you see that where you can be sitting quietly and somebody will go to bed and the father of spirits will start waking men and say come to this person i want you to send some money to this person and the person will call you and say i don't know it's not a license for laziness it's an advantage that you have as the seed of abraham quarter to shame god arises for you in a way that is unfair it becomes clear that ordinarily this would not have been your lot but for god hallelujah this is what i believe the faithfulness of god we trade these kingdom secrets with understanding among them knowing that i am the seed of abraham beloved people please hear me it's wonderful to know you are part of this global family and there is a covenant that binds us but i want you to know that in addition to that you are the seed of abraham expect certain things to start happening among the many things that represents the signature of being the seed of abraham is the favor of god write that word favor down there are three things that must happen to you as proof that the favor of god is at work in your life i'm going to give it to you and then we'll pray for tonight are you ready number one unusual kindness this is a revelation god gave me unusual kindness if it is true that the favor of god is at work in your life unusual kindness number two unusual access access to the hearts of kings access to systems and structures number three unusual opportunities paul calls it an open door of opportunity you know a man who is favored by the repetition of these patterns in his life unusual kindness somebody must always be there ready to arise to stand and support what you represent number two unusual access when all doors close against you there is no favor mm -mm. number three unusual opportunity it was one prophetic opportunity that turned that young shepherd boy one opportunity do you know let me tell you this there are people you see just one opportunity god can just give them the inspiration of one song and that one song will bless them and, and you are wondering what if they did not receive the song opportunities are powerful if david did not carry that food do you know the father would have sent someone else that day something would have happened and another person would have been sent he would have dropped the food and returned back and david would have remained and died in the wilderness there unusual opportunities hallelujah i can't tell you how many times i'm traveling and then supernaturally i just bump into people and i look at them ah apostle this and that and that can begin another relationship powerful relationships 
you think it just happened until you know what it takes for opportunities to happen you know that only god can make opportunities happen are we together you just go to the bank and as soon as you are leaving you just rub shoulders with someone oh sorry sorry oh very cautious person how are you what is your name my name is this and that and that okay you look very smart what do you do well nothing right really nothing what did you study i studied this and that you are the exact person we're looking for don't you think that was a mistake it looks like a series of coincidences but there is a finger behind playing this thing and it happens because of what is on you i am the seed of abraham i am the seed of abraham i am the seed of abraham everything i do is blessed everything i do is blessed beyond the efforts and that which is put in there is a spiritual factor koinonia understand what is making this ministry work if you think it's just because of joshua selman's intelligence look at me this is all of me you are smarter than that you went to school no. nicodemus came to jesus by night and he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him. Unusual kindness, unusual access. I'm saying this because from tonight, in the name of Jesus, that grace must start speaking in your life. That grace must start speaking in your life. It has nothing to do with gender has nothing to do with whatever it is unusual kindness unusual access listen that when this grace is at work in you there will always be someone to stand by you and support what you represent it's true the seed of abraham the seed of abraham when men say there is a casting down as the seed of abraham privileged by grace in Christ that for me it will be that there is a lifting up now thanks be to God who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph hallelujah please sit down we're going to pray now I have indoctrinated myself and I've believed in the love of Jesus for me. And I've believed in what he's able to do. I was telling the leaders yesterday, if there is a sudden divine announcement right now that God wants to bless 10 people, I will start praying for the remaining nine. Because I know that one space is already taken. The seed of Abraham. The same Lord is rich unto all. In America, in UK, there is no difference the same lord ah i see i discern that god is no respecter of persons it is not the color of your skin my precious people it is not that you are in zaria here believe me apostle but i'm staying somewhere in new extension i'm staying somewhere behind uh, the rail i'm staying somewhere i come from a family where there is nothing <clears throat> that is not the reason why if you be willing willing to do what to pursue light willing to pursue knowledge willing to pursue jesus the way you need to know how things are done results are not accidental consistent results are proof that you are engaging the laws of the kingdom please hear me the the fortitude to find out what you do not know is powerful knowledge the ability to search lord why is my finances not working it is true that i'm the seed of abraham i now need to do the works of abraham as i study i'm doing the works of abraham open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things out of your law you go and get the power to get wealth part one and two when others are sleeping you are doing the works of abraham you are showing god that you are willing you can't be obedient when you don't have knowledge obedience is based on an instruction is that true if i do not say come and you are walking you are strolling the difference between walking to me and strolling is i ask you to come 
I prophesied as I was commanded. Are we together? Okay. Abraham believed God. Lord, I believe you. In the name of Jesus from this one room, I know that I'm a champion serving the purposes of God with my life. I may not have any earthly advantage. Maybe my father may have gone to be with the Lord. My mother may have gone to be with the Lord. But I lift up my eyes like Abraham did right where I am. In the name of Jesus, I contend for transformation. I may in Zaria be in Zaria, but Zaria would never be in me. I decree and declare, it's the word of God that will be in me. I am creating my own garden of Eden by the power of the Holy Spirit. God now begins to tell you, you will be a mighty man of God. You are going to have a church and you will lead people. And as it is right now, you don't even know the name of the ministry. The key is not to jump around and fail around. It's to pray in the name of Jesus. Abraham succeeded. Jesus, who was his seed, succeeded. Now in Christ, I am the seed of Abraham. That blessing that makes people succeed is upon me. I am declaring by the Spirit of the living God. Are we together? There is no job, no nothing. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible declares that you are my shepherd and I will not want. I tap into your ministry of making, your ministry of leading, your ministry of restoring, your ministry of guiding. I shouldn't be in this state financially. You have to make something a way for me. You have to lead me. I do not want to be in want. Show me the way. Thou shalt show me the path of light. For it is in your light that I see light. You are doing the works of Abraham. Hallelujah. And while you are praying, God will lead you to one message. God will lead you to one book. And you are reading it. You are hungry but you are reading it knowing that you are waving certain dimensions goodbye i may be hungry now but in the name of jesus i am still the seed of abraham and i will feed nations i will not compromise abraham did not bend not to the left and to the right the devil will be saying you are still hungry i agree jesus was hungry too in the wilderness but he did not bend he did not turn stones to bread i will not turn stones to bread i live by the word of god light comes to you you will turn and look at your former self and you will give God the glory because you will see that things would have changed look at me take your eyes away from things like cars house clothes no you are chasing the wrong things those things will come so so I've said this thing for a long time focus on the things that matter what is a car a car is not proof that you are blessed a car can be a proof that you are valuable. To be valuable does not necessarily mean to be blessed. There are many people who are not born again and have these things. Mm -mm. If then ye be evil. If the Lord is to be your shepherd, you must be a sheep. He's not a shepherd to goats. He's not a shepherd to rebellion. To enjoy his ministry of shepherdhood, you must be a sheep. A sheep does not have horns. The only way a sheep is protected is by the ministry of the shepherd. Thy rod and thy staff. Listen, it's time to go for knowledge. Any area that is not working in your life, stop jumping around. Camp with God. The works of Abraham. I am the seed of Abraham. Lord, help me. Open my eyes. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. are you ready to pray prayer point number one you are going to declare it afresh let the realm of the spirit hear your declaration again i am the seed of abraham invincible in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit the blessing is upon me someone declare in christ i am an heir joint heir with christ an heir of god in the name of jesus failure is not my heritage in the name of jesus someone is declaring the righteousness that is of faith speaks on these wise declared by the spirit 
Sabrage de Balaka de Sigendi Bala. Someone declare, forget about your situation. While we look not at the things that are unseen, but the things that are seen, for the things that are unseen are temporal, but the things that are unseen are eternal, permanent. Someone declare over your life, over your family, it's a new season. Abundance is my heritage in Christ for the sake of the majesty of God. Favor is my heritage in Christ. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. Someone pray. Please pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Sadege baraka tosta li branch kadeba. Embra katosta liata. Outside, make sure you pray. Those following online, pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. The seed of Abraham. I am willing to pursue knowledge. I am willing to seek the Lord. I am willing to walk in the ways of the Lord. I obtain grace from obedience. Obedience. Complete obedience. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell out under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 like a mighty wind. Spirit of the From the pages of my heart, let my worship in the never end. We are praying now, we are wrapping up tonight. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin the never end. To the God of all flesh, be all my God and your name is the Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. 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 Oh my God. We are my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Now listen. In one minute you are going to declare, Lord, you are my shepherd. The favor that represents the blessing of Abraham. Let it rest upon my life and begin to speak. Someone pray. Men are rising to show me kindness. Men are rising to give me unusual access. Men are rising to provide opportunities by the Spirit. Someone pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Not in Zaria. Not in Abuja. Not in Nigeria. Not in America. Not in Europe. The Lord is my shepherd. Shame and reproach is far from me. The seed of Abraham. Two more minutes. I'd like you to pray. Decree and declare. In famine, I will laugh. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand shall fall by my side, ten thousand 
by my right side. None will hurt me. I will stand and behold with my eyes the reward of the wicked. The name of the Lord is a strong power. I run into it and I am saved. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.